guys, it's your girl Truly Camellia. I am so excited to be here. Um, actually, this video is a video that was requested um, from one of my members in my um, in my group. Okay, in my Team Vision Catchers group, and I wanted to address it um, because that's this person is not the first person that asked me this so I definitely want to address this uh, question okay and the question is how to get people to click the buy button okay how to get people to click on or to buy your products okay so let's go ahead and dive into this hopefully um, we won't be on here for too long okay so the first thing guys is you want to have a clear call to action a clear cta and for those of you all who don't know what a call to action is it is um you asking your audience or your prospect or whomever to do something Okay, so if you want them to click on the button, tell them to click on the button. If you want them to go to the next page, tell them to go to the next page. If you want them to enter their email address, you tell them to enter their email address. Okay, you tell them to do that. Okay, so you want that call to action, and this is common sense, guys, but you want that call to action to be visible to stand out from everything else on that website or that landing page or whatever. You want that call to action button to stand out like a sore thumb, okay? You want the um, wording on that call to action to be very, very clear, okay? A lot of times for the wording, um, if, you, if you're saying, you know, hey, click here for the video or whatever, you can, on the call to action, you might want to say, you know, get me my video for the, for the button, okay? So you kind of want to do things like that to kind of trigger people to go ahead and go to the call to action. Another thing with the call to action button is you want to make sure the color stands out, okay? You want to make sure the color stands out. And one thing that I got from one of my online mentors um, that helps me is um, you want to use for your call to action is you want to use um, contract contrasting colors okay you want to definitely use contrasting colors so colors or, or accent type colors okay like bright colors so like this yellow actually let me show you guys This blue here and the yellow like stands out, okay? You wanna have colors that stand out. So your yellows, your oranges, your reds, things like that really, really stand out, okay? So they need to be able to identify, okay? On your landing page, they need to be able to identify that call to action button within two seconds or less okay within two seconds so just looking at the the uh, page they need to be able to identify that call to action button and they need to be able to comprehend that call to action button okay so make sure your call to action button is clear the second thing the second thing okay is Make sure, for those of you, now sometimes I see this a lot, for those of you who have like these long sales pages, okay, make sure you have your call to action button in three different places, okay? You want to have your call to action button in three different places because sometimes I'll go on a sales page and the call to action button is in the top, on the top of the page. And then I scroll down and I don't see it, and that means I gotta scroll back up, you know? So you don't wanna do that, okay? You don't wanna do that. You definitely wanna make sure that your call to action button is at the bottom 
of your page because that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people, you know, people are lazy. Like we're, we're very, very lazy, okay? We don't like to read. So we're gonna swipe, 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 swipe until we get to the end, all right? And we see the benefits at the end. Okay, we, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and do what you want me to do, okay? But for those people who are kind of like me, who want to read all the details, all right, I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading. And if I don't see that call to action at the bottom, if it's something that I really want, I'll probably scroll back up. But if it's something that I don't want, I'll just click off the page, okay? So you need to make sure that you are serving your two types of people, your lazy people and your people who like to read a lot. So you want to make sure that call to action button is at the top of the page, okay, somewhere in the middle of the page, and also um, at the bottom, at the very, very bottom, all right? Surveys say that um, people, business owners that put call to action buttons at the bottom of their pages, of their sales pages, get more sales, okay? So you definitely want to put call to actions um, on your pages, on your sales pages. Um, the third thing is you want to use timers, okay? You want to use those type of integrations. So um, have you ever seen like a um, website and it had like a countdown, like a day or, you know, hours or minutes or something like that? You want to do that. You want to use that. You want to integrate that um, in your website or in your your sales page or, or opt-in page or or whatever because it's a psychological thing it's a psychological um trick to selling all right when people are like limited for time all right people we we really don't want to act like we're losing or that we're missing out especially on something that we really want so if we're thinking about get it We'll be like, you know what, let me go ahead and get this before it's over, okay? Before the, the sale or what have you, before the product, you know, is no longer available, okay? So that's kind of like a, a psychological hack or whatever um, that people use, all right? And it works, all right? It does work. I know for me, um, some of the things that I have, some of the, um, the sales pages and things that I have timers on, I get a lot more sales with those with those sales pages, okay? So um, there are two places where there are two things that I use. Um, I used to use Dead Funnels. I don't use Dead Funnels anymore, um, but that's a resource that you can use. Hey y'all, sorry about that. My iPad died, well not died, but it ran out of storage. Um, side note, I do not like Apple products, okay? I do not like Apple products. I am an Android girl all day, okay? An Android girl all day. Anyway, <laughs> that's a side note. So where were we at? We were talking about the two products that I use for our timer integrations, okay? So dead funnels, deadline funnels is one thing. Well, I don't use that. I used to use that, and I got to keep on looking at the time, guys. So um, it doesn't time out, but um, dead funnels is one thing that I like to use, um, and lead pages. Lead pages is the second thing that I like to use. I stopped using deadline funnels because um, <coughs> uh, I felt like I didn't need it anymore. Because deadline funnels, I believe, is thirty-seven dollars a month. <coughs> Lead pages is $37 a month. And y'all, lead pages is the bomb.com. Okay. I absolutely love lead pages. Like I'm an affiliate. I'm not putting down my link. Okay. But I love lead pages. Okay. So if you are in business, I feel like everybody needs lead pages. All right. Because they are the bomb.com. All right, um, but yeah, dead funnels or lead pages. Now, lead pages does have a, a integration widget in it, a timer integration widget, and it's so easy. All you have to do is just copy and paste it onto your sales page. So, so yeah, so definitely get lead pages. Um, both of those things, both of those timers are going to, uh, your timers are going to provide a sense of urgency, okay? And like I said before, you know, it's kind of like a psychological thing um, for people when getting a product, okay? 
The fourth thing that you can use, um, it's, a, it's a website that you can use, it's called Button Optimizer, <coughs> Button Optimizer optimizer.com okay and that button is going to help you um, with your colors and, and things like that um, you can also you know look at um, I forget the website um, but it's a it's actually <coughs> you can probably google it and just uh, it, it's a website that you can go to and look at the psychological of the psychology of colors and what they mean I know for me, the buttons that do well for me, and I'm telling y'all some pay.com stuff, but anyway, um, pay 99 stuff, right? <laughs> but um, some buttons, the, the colors that do well with me are yellow, okay, and orange. Yellow and orange, for some reason, they are really good, like the bright yellow and the bright orange are really really good sometimes bright greens do well as well for me um, but those are the two colors that do well so you can look online and just get a list of um, of colors and their meetings um, as far as like regarding sales okay regarding selling um, for some reason I heard that blue is a good color like that helps people you know buy things I don't know why but it hasn't been for me. And the last thing, guys, the last tip is to continue to test. Continue to test your sales pages and your lead magnets. I feel like you should have at least two lead magnets, um, <coughs> two sales funnels running at a time. Um, I think I have about four running. I know some people who have like 50. <laughs> you know, that's all they do is put sales pages together and sales funnels. Um, but yeah, you need to have at least two. Um, so you can test how they work, okay? Who's opting into what? Who's clicking on what? You definitely need to have those statistics and those um, analysis to help you, okay? So I'm getting ready to go out, y'all. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.